Hello everybody and welcome to The Darkest Dungeon. I'm here playing on Alex setup at his house instead of the other way around. How dark it is. How dark it is. And we I decided I thought I would play The Darkest Dungeon because we were playing what was it? Into the Gungeon? Into the Gungeon. And we were playing Into the Gungeon. I was like, well, we haven't seen Darkest Dungeon in a while. Sorry I'm on this menu. I was trying to figure out a way to sync it better and uh, accidentally or rather I clicked on it to hope to get it to a name select or name input. Ended up in a can selecting the difficulty. It's apparently difficulty now. Yes. It's very different. It's, yeah. there was, so there was no difficulty before? No. But before it would have been darkest, but they added game settings, so it might have been closer to radiant. But now there's actual difficulty differences, so I don't even know. There were no difficulties before, it was just the game. Stygnian is definitely new and different because there was no limit before. You didn't have a time limit. You could take as much time as you wanted. So that's interesting. Interesting. Interesting, very interesting. You can say, like, darkest mode is probably closer to the uh, original. Like, the beta version, where it was actually really fucking difficult. Like Pizza Hut? Original Pizza Crust? <laughs> yeah. Where, like, it's all stress-based and it's hell. Radiant is probably more comfortable if you haven't played this before and you don't want to get your ass handed to you. So it's not your traditional easy, medium, hard, because it's still hard. All right. Uh, I guess I'll go Radiant. Usually I pick like the hardest thing, but I've actually seen this game in action, and it is ridiculous, yeah, and it, I don't feel like going through Madhouse and Resident Evil again like that. It would be an exercise in futility, mostly. Uh, it's, it's not... It's, it's, it's a almost roguelike, so you, you would be spinning your wheels, basically. There's no skill-based thing to this. It's about all right. uh, smart decisions. Alec, of course, went with the dankest dungeon for his game. Oh, little doggies in here now, little doggy. So I, of course, am gonna go with the dunkest. The dunkest. The dunkest dungeon. Dunkest dungeons. <laughs> Come on, and slam! And welcome to the slam. Okay. I hit enter. Yeah. Sweet. And now I click the X. <laughs> click the X. All right. The Dunkest. You press it. All right, let's go. Alec is now taking his dog outside. Let's enjoy this introduction scene. Yeah. The last time I watched Alec play this, I didn't see this part. He was like a quarter of the way through the game. You will arrive along the old road. The old road. It winds with a troubling serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted oh, countryside. Making suggestions to me, game. I see already. Only, I fear. Evermore tenebrous places. Stupid dog. The door was, was open. They could have just gone out. Hidden cobbles of the old road. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. Interesting. It's telling me where to go. It's telling me to go that way. Go west, Johnny. No Thanks, bravery. Ghost. Jesus, man. Does everybody think this is the Kentucky Derby? It's a like going through the winding, serpent-like suggesting paths, apparently. All right, let's see. Ah, oh, the old road. I believe this was foretold by an ancient scholar, ACDC. <laughs> and their tales of the highway to hell. So the guy who's narrating it is the dude that was sending you the letter at the beginning? Yes, that's how it seems. Uh, the introduction to this game, because we didn't show that, uh, uh, this is the menu apparently. Does it random who you start with, or do you usually start no, with these two? those are the two you always start with. Uh, uh, you are currently in a room. Okay, thanks. <laughs> to move forward, click on another room on the map display. This will take you to the connecting hallway. Alright. So yeah, in the introduction, oh hey, I can walk around? A bit. That's kind of cool. It's mostly visual, it doesn't actually affect anything. Not in the room, anyways. On the floor. Like I said, and you're in a room. So, so walking around in the room does nothing, really. Alright, so, as I was saying, the introduction has you, uh, what is it, like your uncle, your grandfather, your dad, somebody, a relative. An ancestor. Sending you a letter about this place telling you to get your shit together and fix it. So here we are. You can click or use A and D to move. Oh. Either way. Sweet. I'm just gonna click so I can sit back here. So, Alec, you have a good view of the screen here. Yep. And oh God, what's happening to him? Stress. It's natural stress. Uh. Walking backwards causes more stress. Uh. Ah. Dispatch this dog in brutal fashion. 
Hell yeah. Combat is turn based. On your hero's turn, click a skill icon and then click on a highlighted target. If you can't select a particular skill, it's because that hero needs to be standing in a different spot or there are no valid targets. Mouse over the skill to see the requirements. Alright, see so what's we've got here. Open vein. So is this person can I choose who goes first? Or is no, it oh, okay. Yeah, that's who's going. Open vein. So you can see the, the yellow dots on the uh, left yeah. indicate what spot you need to be in. You're in the second spot from the right. Yeah, I remember that. I remember a bit of this. So accuracy base, damage mod, minus fifteen percent, hundred percent base, two points for three what? Okay, so it's a hundred percent chance to cause bleed mm -hmm. for two points of damage for three rounds. It causes the damage at the beginning of the enemy's round. I'm gonna go with this one. Great, I guess a single target. Worm. Yep, brutality. Brutal. It is a hundred percent base, but he has a twenty percent oh. resistance, so it's really an eighty percent. Does this shit? A uh, stunning blow. Hundred percent chance to stun. Oh, mouse over the enemy. Quick. See their resistances there? Ah. So you might have 100% base, but he has 25% resistance, so it's like a 75% chance to stun. I see. Or rather a 25% chance for him to not... to resist. But a 75% for me to stun, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to smite him instead. He's got like four health left, so... Smite away! Yes! Each item, if you take it, will occupy space in your inventory. Mouse over items to show details about them. This works in your inventory too. Circle button to close the window. <laughs> That's cute. Gold greases palms, builds empires, and investigates murder. Instigates murder. Cool. Oh, instigates. Not investigates. I mean, it could do that too. It investigates. Cool. Food. Eat to restore health and stave off hunger. One unit per meal. Cool. Ah, interactive objects. Curios. While exploring, you will find interactive objects. Click or press W to investigate. Take a look at this tent. I don't wanna. Take a look at this tent that I just found. Take a look at this. Clearer, clearly where the ambushers camp. Don't do that. <laughs> I can't give gold? You can, it will destroy your gold. Don't do that. What? Don't check inside the you tent? You can give... Okay, so tent is a type of curious. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. But when you put items into that slot, you're spending the item to try to get something else out of it, and certain items have certain reactions, but if it has no reaction, you're just going to trash it. It's going to hey. disappear. If DFO taught me anything, it was, you have to spend money to make money. <laughs> Bam! Well, I can tell you, you can certainly not get more money out of trashing money. Let me check this map, what's going on in here. You are almost to the room. You have to click on the door. Or press W. Oh, interesting. You were standing in front of the door. I uh, was message. message. The rightful owner has returned, and they are kind of his no Alright, oh, so damn. make sure you check out the big guy's stats, because that's important too. He is. resistant to stun. Mm -hmm. He's got a lot more health. So maybe uh oh, that buff is nice though. With this the tracking buff? shot is a nice buff for this, so if you keep using it, it'll stack like two or three times. But Sweet. you can also use the bleeding attack to try to get the big guy's health down. This one? Yeah. Either way, good for dealing damage. Alright, let's go for this one. Take it! Bleed. Bleeding also stacks too, by the way. Oh boy. Ooh. Debuff. Alright, so this guy, he has an attack that can hit both dudes, right? Yeah. Ah, zealous well, accusation. The big guy takes up two slots. He's twice as big. See. Oh, uh, I just hit both of them. You just hit the one guy. Interesting. 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 You try for a stun, but he's fifty percent resistant. You know what? And also, when you successfully stun, he'll have a resistance to additional stunning, so it doesn't stack. As I'm gonna much. add. I'm gonna. I like these odds. Oh yeah, baby. Fifty-fifty. Oh. Bleed oh, and yeah. lose his turn. And now he's more resistant to stun. Aren't these torches? Don't need torches? Not for the tutorial fight. Oh, okay. This is literally the only room. Pistol shot. Uh, the grape shot. I wanna get it. I wanna get a shot in on both these dudes. Just so that I can get some. Work. Um, I just wanna get some damage in. Okay. Bingo, bingo, bongo! Oh god, look at the fire, here it comes! Ooh. Mark 
Mark target. Ooh. Accusation. Mm -hmm. What's this do? This one does more, right? So it doesn't do much damage, no. Oh, it's accuracy, never mind. Negative 75% damage. Is that, what's that mean? I don't understand that. So he has damage, it's 2 to 3. Actually, it'll show you. When you select a skill, it'll show you the stat down there. Oh, there it is. Damage. That's, two, that's 6 good. to 12. That's Jesus. Do, I, think. I haven't seen that before. Yeah, that's pretty good. That thing went down. He's going like a champion. I'm just cutting right. Oh, no. Point blank shot. Bang. Oh, it send him back. back. Which could be bad. Is there an option to move? Yeah, there is. That, that one on the right, the arrows. Ah, move back to back forward. Okay. All right, this guy is going here. Yeah, he's you might want to stack on the bleed to finish him off. How much health has he got? It doesn't matter. He's, he's gonna, going he's down. Out, I think. Mouse over the bleed icon there. Four damage, damage per he's, round. He's, he's round, going so. down, so you brother. Can consider him dead. Uh, you might as well just move. You're not going to be able to do anything. It does not destroy the sharpened blade. Interesting. And now, fucking finish him. I'm gonna open this dude's vein. I'm gonna open his goddamn hell chest up. It's gonna be groovy. Ooh. Oh no! The chest opening! Finish it. Stunning blow. No! Melee. Ah, six damage. Now I can finish it. Look at accuracy, too. Is that. You need to do one damage, so pick the most accurate. Accuracy. Take oh my god! Ah, oh, look at all that cool. good stuff. You got stuff. a protection Ooh. charm. That must be part of the easy difficulty. Because then, most of this is prescriptive. After you completed the requirements of the quest, you have the option to return to town at any time. Just click the crest, and you don't need you don't need to return to the starting room of the dungeon to exit. Completing a quest. So uh, don't exit yet. Continue adventuring because there's a chest right there. Trying to trick me. Oh, it's trapped. You don't have a key, do you? Gotcha. You could try to open it if you're daring, but it's gonna not do much for you. It's trapped. All right, just leave then. No, just leave. But I wanna. Quest completed. Dun dun dun. You got some nice food. Ooh, four pieces of wait no we have four pieces of food lots of gold stuff yep do I not get to keep food does it go back and sell stuff you know the I think it counts as money like you get your money back for it for selling it back uh, not as much but yeah you don't think you get to keep the food though or Ronaldo and dismass click on those things to reveal their new traits oh yeah I forgot about that lazy eye isn't this happen every time they go into a dungeon mm-hmm oof yeah, it sort of depends on what happens in the dungeon, I think. Plus 15% damage to Warren in Warren's. That's pretty good. Minus 5 accessory acts to range skills. But he doesn't really have range skills, does he? It's true. Light sensitive. Minus if torch above 75. That sucks. That is terrible. So you know who we're killing off first. <laughs> or heal his ailments. Not that you have that unlocked yet. I think you have to go into the mission. Welcome to Hamlet. I don't even... Isn't that the house from the intro in the back there? Mm -hmm. That's Burn. the uh, the darkest dungeon. Such as it is Wait, the darkest dungeon? Yep. Darkest dungeon is your own, your own house, from mm -hmm. your family house. Oh, that's a bummer. He's now apprentice level one. Well, he's always been, I guess. Just escort you to the hand. Start level zero. So there are we're, we're all friends now. We're good with each other. Is that me? No. I'm the caretaker. The caretaker. Oh. You are you. Oh. Who am I? Who am I? Successfully complete your first foray in the ruins. Defeat. Oh, he's just quests. Mm-hmm. Is this to beat the game? Yeah, basically. Complete the final Darkest Dungeon quest. Ooh. Have you ever done that? Nope, I haven't even gone to the Darkest Dungeon. Is it hard? Oh, yeah. Can't you, like, immediately just go into the dungeon and die? I don't think so. It's pretty close, though. It's maximum level. Ooh, nice stuff. All right, let's check it. Let's see what we got here. What's going on? Uh, well, you know what? We're running low on time on this one, so I'm going to end the episode here. That was the tutorial of the Darkest Dungeon. Learning about the dungeon. I'm not sure if I'll actually complete this game. It just depends on how fast it means when they say, Oh, it's going to be fast, faster than the normal game. So we'll see how that goes. I don't believe that one bit. Yeah. So we'll play for a little bit, and then maybe we'll never play again. At least, I don't know. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.